Okay. So, we're doing the final side. Um, I didn't like it, but the piece wasn't long enough after washing and drying, so I had to put a piece on the end. Um, it's not a huge deal or anything. It doesn't look the greatest on the other side, but not a big deal. This is the window I got. It's for like a shed or something, but it's awesome. I think it's gonna be perfect. So I cut this hole the window, go straight through. Um, yeah, so what we need to do is get some of this crap out of the way. Um, I don't really want that all wet, so. This is the canvas, all ironed. And actually, plop it down here. It's all ready to go. So what I need, what I decided I was doing here is I used tile bond on the whole uh, on the whole side. And what I did do to seal the top is I used paint on that. Used paint on the bottom. Seems to be working okay. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to coat this whole thing with a super heavy coat of tile bond. Um, this is, this had just a dribble of water that had a little bit of paint in it, it's not going to hurt anything. So, might as well mix that up so we don't get, but I, I've been doing 100% tile bond underneath the canvas, which has been working okay. I do think, still think, uh, paint would do just as good. You see, I got a lot of water in this brush, so. This is going to take a little bit of finessing. So this spot right here is going to be a little watered down. Not a big deal. Really should have squeezed that out, huh? It'll work, and if this doesn't stick perfectly next to the window, I can always add a little bit more after. So that's about the consistency you want right there. At least for me, I think that works really well. Um, you would rather have less water and more tile bond in my testing. Like I said, I'm not purposely watering this down. It's just what was in the roller. And up here you can see it didn't stick very well right there. So I'm gonna give that a good coat. And that'll get, when I pull down on it in a little while, that'll be fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the side on, probably give it five or ten minutes to dry, and then uh, we'll paint it. Depends on how long it takes to dry. It might be a little bit longer before we paint it, but uh, it all depends. I don't know how humid it is today. It seems like as long as the air is moving, this stuff dries pretty fast. You have enough time to glue. I have, I have a lot of drips and I don't really care. As you can see, I didn't tape off the uh, the frame, so the frame gets some on it. And I'm not really concerned. I'm, I'll probably wipe it off afterwards with something. And because uh, I wanted to coat the frame in something anyway, a bed liner or something. So we'll cross that bridge when the time comes. So from here out, this is going to be just fast forwarded until I get this side done.
So, a lot of glue. Sorry if you can hear the fan. The fan is why this dries so quick. I have it so the air is moving through here like crazy. Should be enough to get this stuck. Um, personally, I don't really care if it's not a straight line down the side. If you liked it, or if you really wanted it to be straight, you can pull this, let it dry a little bit, and. Cut the edge before it totally dries and make it perfectly straight. Like I said, I'm not really that picky. I'm gonna get this whole thing a good press without making too much. You can see that's in the actual canvas itself. This one's in the canvas. Some of this you can work out a little bit. There's that seam, then you'll see this one. This one on the other side I covered with uh, liquid nails, I believe. You can see these ones. And the edge I'm gonna have to fix up later. All right. So that's pretty good. Nothing super obvious that matters here. All right, so I gotta find the scissor and then I can start cutting this off. On the other side, I'll show you in a second. I kept this piece. Obviously it's not perfectly matched with the one that's there. This one I still gotta work on fixing but it's not too bad I'm probably gonna have to glue that and push it down with something all right and I have absolutely no idea what I did with the scissor so we are going to try the razor blade method which may actually be better because I can make it a little bit nicer looking This will all be coated in paint, so you don't need to go too crazy. Probably be easier for me to go like this.
That's probably going to be noticeable. Let's get rid of that. Now you need to be careful because you're on. I went a little lower than I wanted, but that's fine. All right, that's good. Just get rid of any crap that's sitting on there. Okay, so here. You gotta be a little more careful because you're going on a piece below it. Right. I don't really like that, but it's going to be covered up anyway. Okay, so now we got our general shape. Now, we're going to need some paint. So I'm going to go rinse this out. Um, if you leave too much tile bond in with the paint, it gets really thick and it's not a nice thing. You know, um, all right, I got a lot of paint here. Um, first things first. You want a good coat of paint on this part. You want it pretty thick, but you don't have to go too crazy because we're gonna do this too. We're gonna paint this. And you can see this glue is not 100% set yet, which is fine because I'm not, I'm not painting the whole thing yet. I'm gonna give it a little bit of time in between. I'm just gonna do the whole edge, which takes a while. By the time we get the edge done, We'll probably be able to paint the side. And then you gotta leave it alone for a long time. All right, so now we're gonna take this and make sure that goes on there nice. And make sure all this goes on nice. Okay. So then this piece because it's already painted everywhere else. We're using paint as glue for this spot, which I've done quite a bit. And like I said in the last episode, I think I prefer it, but I'm almost afraid to use it on everything because it really does work well. Oh, and you can see the differences. I'm gonna have to cut some of these little frillies off. I'm just gonna leave them for now. But you can see how different the canvas is one compared to the other.
And this bottom edge, what I'm going to do after the fact, eh, probably should do it now. Get some glue under there. I mean, some paint under there. Get that to stick down. We'll worry about the rest of it after everything else is done. You can see that already sucked up all that paint. Now where's the razor blade? Yeah, I'd say this canvas specifically is worse than the Home, Home Depot one. And it comes apart a lot easier than the Home Depot one. So we are going to give this a good coat. We're going to have to soak up some of this paint. I just want the fibers to be completely saturated. And this is going to take probably five more coats on this before it's really watertight. So. So that's what I'm gonna do there. So here, before we do anything else, we need to decide where we're cutting. Because you have to cut V's into this. I'm gonna need a scissor to do this. I really need Well, if anybody noticed, the scissor was right there in the front of the trailer. I just blind as a bat. So the plan, this is what I did on the other side. Just pull this, find a place you like. Pull this tight. So find a place you like, pull it tight, make a V. You can pull it away a little bit. I cut it. I don't want it to go 100% to the edge because you want the seal. You may have to go a little bit more than that, but that's. Let's see. Yeah, I think we're going to have to go a little bit more. Sorry if it's hard to see some of this. Okay, so there's already a layer under here. So it's not the end of the world because we had to come up to here with the front piece of canvas. So that should work there. Let me look at the other side and see where I did them so we can kind of match them up. One here, one up there, one at the top. So, So sort of in this area somewhere, I did another one. Yeah, that should work. Good. I would have liked that a little bit shorter, but it'll be fine. It's going to cover it. And then somewhere up here, I'm going to do another one. Because you can let, once you get this all right on the curve, So now, the fun part.
Now we are going to saturate the underside with paint. Let's see if we can get a good view of this. The underside we're going to saturate with paint. And we got to get in this crease really well. And this is already dry. I can't pull it off anymore. So, want this really saturated. I'm going to do two parts at the same time. Okay. Now, what I do is I take this, give it a nice coat, and this is that good stuff. This is the best canvas that was went on this. I'm glad it went on the top. Um, oops. Carefully don't mess up anything else. So we should let some of this dry, but. All right, so now we are going to, we're gonna coat this other piece too while we're at it. Yeah, I'm hoping anybody that watches this didn't mind that I didn't record the whole thing during the canvas because it's really tedious and takes a while. If you have any questions about how to do certain things, just let me know. I'm learning it all as I go, but it's really not that complicated. All right, so then you take this. You want to make these pieces look pretty now. by pretty, you know, I'm not a perfectionist in any way, shape, or form, but you want to make it look reasonably nice. Yeah, just like, I don't really like this corner piece. If it really annoys me, I might throw a piece over this just so it looks better, but I don't like this edge either, but I can live with it. Not everybody can. I think on the other side, I did end up with a little bump in one of these corners, but came out pretty good. So you're gonna have to work out these lines. It's a nice thing about canvas. It has some give. I'm gonna need more paint up here. Okay, so. What we need to do is we need to do this last piece so that way we can get that corner correct. And then we'll probably still have to do the whole top part before we can make the top corner correct here. I'm almost wondering. Did what I was supposed to do. I think you have to massage out some of these once you get it wet, so don't get too crazy. 
until you put paint over it. Alright, so while these are sitting here, we need to snip off a little bit of this. Take your time, work out all the issues. There will be some. And then once you get it good, or good enough, Just leave it alone. Like I said, it might not be perfect. Don't get too upset about it. Like the little frillies, we cut them off.
Okay, so now we gotta do the whole top. And this is where it gets a little annoying, just because it takes time. Best way to do this, throw down a good coat. Put quite a bit up in that crease because that all needs to still be sealed down. This is all going to be coated, so don't be shy. I really should have made myself a little bit more room to work, but I'm going to make it make do. I can feel wind blowing through right here, so this is going to take no time to dry. Like I said, it's your choice if you want to make this pretty. I am going to just leave the seam. I might come back after all the paint dries and put something to make the seam look just a little bit nicer. be afraid to go a little wild with the paint on this part because this is the seal for the top and I would recommend highly recommend you come back through and just roll the roller over the top All right, now I'm gonna get covered in paint Some of the little lumps will come out as you. Uh -oh, I got stuck a little to the top the other day. While I was working on something else, I had that up out of the way. Apparently, I've got a couple little spots where it started to get glued down already. Missing. No big deal. We get what we can get, and then we paint the rest. All right, this is ready basically for paint. A 
Oh, this is still a little wet. I'm gonna neaten up this edge. Because it'll look a little bit nicer. You only probably have probably 20 minutes after you do this to get get it nice and then it'll be dry it all depends on how much gets soaked up you can see this is going to be more work than it needs to be I'm going to get what I can get and then I'm going to have to walk away That's as good as that's getting. All right, before I forget, I want to run the paint roller over the top because there might be some drops up there that I can't see. drips. That's a good push. So this whole side is ready for a coat of paint, but 
I need to do that corner real quick. I just want to put some paint down this seal on the side so this sticks 100%. Well, what will be the seal, I should say. like the door to dry first. I should have done this before, but if I could get a good layer on here, I can cut that while the rest of it dries and do a little more work. So the camera died amidst that, but not a big deal. Um, everything is pretty much done on this side, minus um, I'd like that to stay a little better, but it's not a big deal. There's some leeway in there. Um, I would, everything's done on this side except for painting it a bunch more times. This has two full coats on it. Um, everything is pretty good. This one's almost dry. Um, and if we go over here, I was just touching up some of the stuff here. Uh, I was doing some of the edge, I was trying to fill this in so it looked a little better. Um, but yeah, I mean this canvas definitely had some, this isn't like a, uh, 
like a something I could get out by stretching it. I tried to uh, iron these out and everything, and we still had some marks. Um, but yeah, man, I really did have a bunch of trips. Oh well, I can fix that. Um, but yeah, this side is pretty good. I think this has three coats now. Um, so this side should be pretty much, you know, waterproof so far, but I'm going to put another, you know, probably, my guess, another four coats or so, because, like, this stuff soaked it up a lot better. Um, but this stuff, it soaks it up okay, but it, I want a little bit of this texture to go away. It's got much more texture than this, if you look, you know, how much smoother that is to that. So, the plan is to go over it a bunch more times. And, yeah. Um, I want to put two or three more coats around where the window goes. I want to pop the window in. Um, yeah, so I'll probably pull this thing out in the next few days and just paint. Paint the whole thing as much as I can. And, uh... Yeah, and then it'll be pretty much ready for the final coat, which will, I believe we're going to do blue um, with a stripe or something on it. So we'll see how that goes. But the final coat is not pinkish tan. The final coat is going to be a dark blue. And the dark color will cover up a lot of the seams and stuff. You won't notice them unless you're right on top of it. So anyway, that's it. See you in the next one.